All right, now to the fix that just can't come soon enough for the 130,000 people forced to boil their water. Here's what's happening today to fix that huge broken water main. The broken pipe has been stabilized and crews are now cutting that section so it can be removed. Delivery of that 48 feet of new pipe is still set for Tuesday and the timeline hasn't moved with September 3rd, the target for work to be finished. Our Jason Colthorpe spent the day in Imlay City where residents are stepping up to help. Here in Imlay City, the GLWA today brought out its three water trucks for a water giveaway. And as you can see here, there is a lot left to be handed out. Okay. So this is day three of our uh, water distribution. And it's all hands on deck for Imlay City, which has made perfect use of the Eastern Michigan State Fairgrounds, handing out water for hours now. 9.30. 9 30 this morning. We've had a huge success with people dropping off water, wanting to donate, people coming up to pick up water. How inconvenient has this been for you guys? Very, it's hard. We have to boil the water to do dishes and cooking. Yeah. My first time in 58 years. Really? Mm -hmm. It's not just every city employee lending a helping hand, it's neighboring communities as well. Romeo, which is just outside the boil water zone, has been dropping off cases of water. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to help people and we're, we uh, totally appreciate the city of Romeo for allowing us to have that water, that extra bit of water, because every little bit helps for sure. In other communities like Bruce, Washington and Shelby townships, businesses are still limiting several of their items. I mean, good luck finding a Slurpee or an iced coffee right now. Back here in Imlay City, the chief is about to make some water deliveries to the Spanish speaking citizens who may not have gotten the word yet. A lot of people have actually been coming up and thanking us and it's like, hey, we're just we're just trying to make it easy for everybody else. You know, we're just trying to make uh, have everybody get their equal fair share of water and, you know, everybody, you know, make their lives a little bit easier during these tough, tough times. A crisis that is bringing out the best in the people of this community in Imlay City. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Thank you, Jason. And by the way, Imlay City will be doing that same water handout tomorrow from 10 a.m. to noon at the Eastern Michigan Fairgrounds.